guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to prolific lifestyle 212 today's topic is going to be on parenting and the struggles that many parents face so we're going to we're going to address the topics on parenting the topics on what's it like to be a parent what's the struggle what's your biggest hurdles what's the things you worry about most all right so right now we're heading to Krispy Kreme and the only reason we're going to Krispy Kreme guys I can't make this up I had one assignment and the one assignment I had was to order a cake that he wants he wanted like I don't even know what it was, like Angry Bird cake, and I'm not gonna lie, I dropped the ball. Dealing with work, dealing with stress, I dropped the ball. So what I'm trying to do right now, what I'm going to do, because I have no other option, head to Krispy Kreme, and I'm gonna build a cake tower. I'm gonna try my best to build a cake tower. Hopefully they never know. Hopefully, you know, we'll see what happens. And, and, and that's, that's a part of parenting, like things that you drop the ball on. So I dropped the ball on the, on the uh, cake, and now I gotta improvise and make my own cake. So Krispy Kreme is the next stop, plus I love Krispy Kreme too. So it's like a win-win. And that's what we're headed right now, Krispy Kreme. Hey, what can I do for you? How you doing? Can I get uh, four dozens of assorted uh, donuts, please? All right, what would you like in your dozen? The first two dozens, glaze, one dozen chocolate frosted with sprinkles. And what's a good flavor? You help me out. Honestly, cake batter is really good. Give me that good old cake batter then. All right, anything else? That's it. You may drive up. How much is that, $400? $98.05. <laughs> All right, thank you. Of course. <laughs> Krispy Kreme expensive, boy. <laughs> you go going down. The other day I went there trying to get a dozen of donuts. They said 34 dollars I was like, what? A dozen of donuts? And here's the catch. I, I came here a couple of times. There was a car, car fans in here. And he said, I said, that's the M3CS? I'm like, yeah. Yo, can you rev it? My whole order was free. Two dozen. But I don't think she's a car fan, so I'm not going to get these dozens free. Here's the cake, guys. Uh, hopefully I got a creative idea to make a cake since I dropped the ball with the uh, <laughs> We'll get his uh, Angry Bird cake, but we still make it work. So let's see how this cake towel comes out Let's see what happens. Even though he won the Angry Bird cake Hopefully I don't have an angry child. All right, so we're just leaving Krispy Kreme guys and I want to uh, I want to talk to my My people out there my parents my even the kids like why is it important? To be present in your kids life and I didn't get that concept earlier in my parenting years and I just kind of recently got it. My daughter's 18 years old. Because for me, it's like, I feel like I was present if I was there. But I gave presents to my kids. Like, you know, I grew up poor. I grew up struggling. So the moment I started making some money, I buy my kids everything. And my wife always told me, like, you cannot buy them everything. Like, you got you to gotta have them, you know, work for something. You keep giving them everything. You, you're spoiling them. And once they become spoiled, you out of, they out of control. And I started dealing with things like that. So for me, being present, and again, it took me a while to learn this. Being present in your kid's life, it's like a hundred times better than giving presents. A hundred times better. Anybody can get presents. You get some money, you buy them a gift. Get this, but spending time with them. Like my son Dash, he wants to go with me everywhere. He's working out with me in the gym now. He really looks forward to doing it. And I actually look forward to doing that too with him. So it, it, it creates bonding time. It creates all types of you know, intimate time with your, with, your, with your kids and stuff like that. Watching shows with them one-on-one. -on -one. It just, it just means a lot and I still struggle with this like I'm not sitting here I'm not a I'm not a parent guru guys by no means I'm not I'm I'm, I'm successfully struggling at this and we all are be more present in your kids life I promise you you guys will see a big difference once you start doing that a another thing that's on my mind is like my kids right now they love to play the PS5 you know and I'm not gonna sit here I'm not gonna say a lot of you and tell you I play with them all the time with the PlayStation 5 and as much as they ask me to play with them I don't I find myself scrolling on youtube watching car videos watching bike videos and it's really 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 important even if you don't know how to play the game just to try with them to play some video games with them that they might like that's a very 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 important thing you should start doing with them not just playing games with them having a show that they want to watch i just started watching we just finished the series the crossover it's on disney uh, my son dash is into family matters and he's into fresh prince of bel-air so watching those things with him as well it's, it's the bonding time because we all are distracted with especially with these cell phones right with the cell phone it's the biggest distraction in the world so we all get distracted it's easy i did i did it with my daughter growing up it's easy to put an ipad in their hand and say all right here now you now you you don't gotta deal with that but you know what happens and, and now I'm, I'm witnessing the first hand that ipad end up raising them the ipad end up you 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 you're pulling further away from your kids you're like you're going like this you went from being like this to daddy 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 to like now it's like all in the phone and then you get mad that they're in their phone but the fact of the matter is that you created that i created that 
I created the phone, I created the technology, I created, I bought all these things for them to give me a peace of mind, to give me a break. And and that break that you're taking, you're, you're, you're destroying your bond that you could build with your kids. And they're gonna end up not wanting to spend no time with you at any age, because you're messing that up. So don't be quick to give your kids an iPad or a tablet or your cell phone. Take a few minutes, spend some time with them. Even if it's like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it means the world to them, I promise you guys. Again, this is, I'm not a guru by no means, but I'm here to tell you about the mistakes I made, that I see that I made, and now I see the effects of them, the, the effects of the mistakes that I made. And I'm hoping what I'm telling you guys, you guys can understand, some of the parents watching can relate, some of the kids watching can say, that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted my dad to be there, I wanted my mom to be there, but we put a, we put a tablet in their head, like, and it's, that's not cool. You know, so let's break that. Let's break that habit. Let's start doing things with our kids. That's fine. Do you you want to stop for a birthday card from us? No, I ain't doing all that. But if you need me to, <laughs> I mean, I'll give, a, I'll give him a happy I, birthday. If, I got a Valentine's Day card for him. <laughs> buys me a little time okay. and um, okay. to be ready for you. And it's one other thing that we do need. All right, all right, babe. <laughs> Why did I call her, yo? Oh my God! You call and now you got more duties to do. I was I got like some cards in the house, like Merry Christmas cards, and I, maybe I should give him a Merry Christmas card, put like twenty dollars in there, stuff like that. What you guys think? He's turning thirteen years old today, so <clears throat> excuse me, it's a big milestone. And matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop at GameStop because he liked the game. I'll probably get him like a little gift card, a little gift card, get some games himself. That's what we're doing next. I ain't good at this card picking stuff, man. I'm just gonna pick. Matter of fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna probably get like four cards. So no, she see me on another task. We got the cards on deck. So we're gonna get four cards right now. Let's see. Oh. Damn, this has been a nice card. You're four. He's 13. I'm gonna actually get him this card too. <laughs> Happy second birthday. Look, man, I'm running out of options. Oh, I like this one better. Hey, two yo. <laughs> I'm gonna give him this one for his birthday though. And this one for next year. I got the next, I got what, 13, 14, 15, 16. I got the next four years set up. Four cards. I'm done. <laughs> I got four, four birthdays out the way. Or I, might, I got two sons, so I might do two and two. My son turning nine next year, so we're gonna figure it out. They're gonna get these cards tomorrow somewhere. And GameStop is right next door, so it's a win win for me. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> games is mad expensive. Let me go. go. Thank you, man. I was actually paying this. Now we're back at the house. Gonna put the tower together, put the cake together, see how it comes out. I hope it comes out good. I, I pray it comes out good, and hopefully he enjoy his birthday. So now, time to park the car and go in the house. Build the beer. It's, it's like flopping a little bit, yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not coming out. I think you're trying to take. It's falling apart. You have one job. I have one job. Get I know. the cake. You just just needed to get a cake. It looks weird. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it looks like something out of The Simpsons. You can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> It actually does. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start over again. Hopefully come back with something better. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Kyra, come here. Let me see if you like the uh, uh, Dash's birthday cakes. Come on. Tell me what you think of Dash's three cakes. Huh? What do you think of his birthday cakes? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -mm. 
Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like so many places. That one is good? Yeah. Or should we throw it in the garbage? Never that, right, bro? It look good? Yeah. All right, thank you for your uh, input. All right, this job here is done. Remember that if you fail to execute, you come with another plan. Pivot, look, baby. You gotta pivot. You gotta, oh, snap, look. Don't do nothing with it now. We'll just hold those when these run out. I didn't realize we had a whole other box here. What's this? That's it. You call it glaze. Beautiful. This is our, our birthday cake. So you don't get one cake, you don't get two cakes, you get three cakes. So that concludes the day. I was able to not get the cake, but improvise and buy donuts and come up with some sort of creative idea to make a tower the best tower I can. They said it like a Simpsons cake, but I did the best I can. The moral of the story is sometimes things don't go as planned. Sometimes things don't go the way you want it to go, but you still got to try to find your best to make it work. And that's what I did today. It's all about a parenting. Like I had one assignment. I really had one assignment was to get the cake. And I dropped that. I fumbled that bag. I'm sorry. Sorry, Dash. I hope if you're watching it, you still love your cake. Your towel cake. I did the best I can. Until next time, keep your heart pure. Stay kind. Stay blessed. Remember always to help others. Treat others how you want to be treated. And in life, we're all successfully struggling. I'm successfully struggling. So are you. Till next time, stay tuned, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. This channel, I'm going to teach you guys a lot of things in life that works for me. I'm not going to ever tell you guys what to do, but I'm going to tell you what works for me. You can take my advice, or you can not take my advice. Until next time, guys, stay blessed. Peace.